Hello there, it's Amber, your superhero stylist. It is Friday the 13th of February, and I'm bringing you a quick look at Jersey Gods number one by Image Comics. This is created by Glenn Brunswick. I have a hard time believing that that's the man's real name. His name cannot possibly be Brunswick, and he's from New Jersey. I don't know. Well, actually, he's from New York. But he's writing this book, Jersey Gods. And he says that the reason he did it is because he, you know, he grew up in New York City, and everybody berates New Jersey. You know, it's easy, okay? It's, it's an easy joke. And he said that he roots for the underdogs, and to him, New Jersey has been an underdog. So this book is about what happens when gods land at the Cherry Hill shopping mall. I'm not kidding. This is hysterical. Um, it focuses on a career woman named Zoe, who is fed up with her job. She cannot get a date. She's stuck in dating hell, this poor girl. She gets dumped at the, like, at the mall. And these gods land. It all starts with... Um, I should say the the we're gonna say the bad guys here. The orbiters send Minog, who is this very demonic looking thing, giant horns, you know, red and you know, creepy and he lands there, he wants to start another war. The orbiters are um, looking to instigate their opponents, the walkers, the good guys, into into a war and Minog has some personal issues. He his girlfriend was stolen by a walker and yeah, it's just and he was humiliated in battle. So it's, it's funny revenge type stuff going on. So the walkers that are focused uh, on in here, we have Helios and his father Sirius is in there, and, but it's mainly Helios and Barak. Um, Barak, for some reason, needs a disc to fly. So I don't know if he's a, you know, a walker and Helios isn't. I'm not really sure why they're called walkers otherwise. Uh, so it's just funny because, you know, one, of course, it's sort of an odd couple arrangement that these, these guys have in partnership here. Helios is a party guy. He likes to go to, you know, the planet Cumulus and hit all the clubs. And uh, Barak is, is more focused on work and protecting the universe and all that great heroic stuff. The artwork is by Dan McDade. It's, it's wonderfully pulpy. It's light. It's got bright colors. And it's got the, the, the lettering, of course. We've got great pulp-style lettering with kapows and bams and everything throughout the panels. So um, if you just want to root for the underdog, pick up Jersey Gods number one. If you just like really classic superhero-style things, then give it a shot. It's three fifty cover price by Image Comics, and issue one is out now. So thanks for tuning in. Be sure to subscribe before you log out.